what's up guys today we're going to be doing some breakfast pancakes protein style there's lots of things going on in people's gardens today and it's amazing weather it's summer here in the uk so it's roughly around 27 28 degrees amazing so people do some work so apologies if you can hear it because my garden door is open because it's that warm in here so i am well and truly ready to go outside and sunbathe after i've done this video hence why i've got this little one piece from adidas I've had it a while, so if you go, if you wonder where I got it from, I'll try and find it and put the link down below for anyone that's interested. We're going to be doing protein pancakes. You can do it two ways, one with plain flour or one with oat flour. So I'm going to do the one with the plain flour today, and then all you need to do is the same equivalent of the flour. You just put the oats in a blender, mix it up, and then you have oat flour. Simples. So let's get started with this recipe. So I'm well and truly aware that this video is called Protein Pancakes. Now this is based on the protein powder you put in it. So if anyone is watching this that's not interested in having protein in their pancakes is they're just not a fan or it's just something they've not done before and you're not willing to do it this time around, there are a few options I've got. So I've got this one from um, Nutria, which I'm going to be using today, but there are other options for vegan um, lovers out there, anyone that's do plant-based, this is not an ad, this is just something that I thought I would show you because as a person that has vegan protein, I find it's really difficult to find a decent one with decent flavours. And I may do a video next to tell you which protein brands I love and what I do with them. These are the ones that I would recommend with, with the pancakes because the mixture and how it tastes. So I've showed you this one. This one is it's got banana in it, so it's going to go perfect with these pancakes. And then we've got Huel, and they do various various amounts of different varieties of flavours. And then we have Raw Sport ingredients at the back. It's just, it's just so good for you. In order, I'll show you on a different video. But for the purpose of today's video, any of these will go really well with it. But today, I'm going to try this one. So to get started, for your utensils, you're going to need a bowl, a scoop, a whisk, and a knife. So the first thing we're going to be having in here is going to have one and a half cups of plain flour. So for measuring, I found using things like this really helpful because it gives you the exact amount that you need and you don't have to guess it. I found these on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description down below so you can go and shop there yourself. So what we'll need is one and a half cups of of gluten-free plain flour. I get mine from Free From Gluten-Free from Tesco's in the UK. Um, any plain flour will do with this recipe. So you just need one and a half cups of that. And then we'll need one teaspoon of baking powder. So, tisp. <laughs> And then the protein, which I've already shown you, is Nutria in the super protein in the banana babao. Um, am I saying that right? Baobab? Biobab? Yeah. We're going to be having two tablespoons of protein, just like that. Put that in there. As is for myself and my partner, we have as much as little as we like. So... Mix that all together. So far, it seems like a really simple recipe because it is. Add an, one egg replacement. So for vegans, this is the really good alternative or for anyone that doesn't want eggs in their pancakes because of dietary requirements, then this is a really good one that you can find. Just follow the, just, just follow the, um, the instructions at the back of the box or the container and just put one egg equivalent in there which is what we're going to be doing right now um, but this isn't optional the last time i made these pancakes i didn't put cinnamon in it and i found that, that was what was missing so you can decide you can opt out but what i'm going to do use the rest of this because i need to get another one so that's about a teaspoon of cinnamon mix that in there so that's that done and then with the wet ingredients you're going to need one and a half cups of milk. So I'm going to be adding the egg replacement into the mixture first. Just I'll put all the ingredients down in the description below. So if you need to go shopping for any of this stuff, then it's there for you. So you don't have to keep watching the video as you go. So don't worry, it's down there for you. So yeah, so I've got Oatly, Oatly Light. This stuff is so good. So 
We're going to put a cup of milk into the dry ingredients and then we're going to whisk it. And because this is pancake batter, you, you can have it as thin or as thick as you want, really. I mean, I've made pancake batters really thick and they've come out quite cake-like. But this really does, it's enough. So I've got two bananas, which are very spotty, so they can be very sweet. Obviously, there might be people out there that find that bananas like this are not to be used. But you know what I, do you know what I say to that? These are edible and I love bananas like this. So I'm going to be using two very ripe bananas. Inside they're pretty perfect, except for a few spots and that doesn't phase me. Um, and they need to be eaten. So, which is why I thought, you know what, let me do some, pa let me do some pancakes today. Move that aside. And now we're going to go over to the stove to put these into the pancakes and get them cooking. Okay. So the light isn't very good. So apologies about that. But all you're gonna need to see is we've got a frying pan and add about a tablespoon of oil. Okay, so the pan is now heated up and the oil is ready to cook our pancakes. So we're gonna have half, we're gonna use a ladle's worth of mixture. And then leave it alone. The one thing I have, I, one thing I've noticed with pancakes is I've made the mistake before of touching it. So what I mean by touching it is using a spatula so and just leave it there. The way to know that it's cooked is you start to see little bubbles popping up, and you know that it's cooked through. And then we will flip it over, turn it around like that. So this is going to be a plain one. So now we're going to do the banana one. So at this point, this is where you add your banana. So we're going to be using the thin bananas that we cut up. Here we go. So it's starting to move away from the pan now. Then we can do the Omati flip. Yay! That looks pretty good. And then we'll leave it on this side for about 30 seconds. And we'll just keep repeating that. And I'll fast forward this, I'll fast forward this video now so you don't have to see me keep doing that and then I'll show you what it looks like at the end. calorie teaspoon, you can't go wrong for anyone that's calorie conscious, which is a thing. I mean, look, look at that. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, I left one. No. 
Jamie D all that. I'm all going to do that on camera. This is for me to enjoy, for you to try, for you to comment down below, for you to subscribe, for you to put a thumbs up. Let me know how you like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Thank you.